Yo, what is good out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going over one of the easiest glitches we've had in a while. Um, I've said that a couple times, man, but it's true. We really have had really easy glitches uh, recently, and this one is no different. All right, not sure who the founder is, but it is a very simple glitch. It's not solo. You do need a friend, but the friend literally just sits in a job the entire time. All right, it's a very, very simple glitch to do. Now, what you're going to need for this glitch is, like I said, you need one friend. This works on Xbox One and PS4. You need a nightclub, and we're going to be putting a car in the service entrance. So I recommend an LG Retro Custom to dupe, so we can be making a million bucks each dupe. Each dupe, sorry. And you need the MOC with the personal vehicle storage or an empty spot in a CEO garage to actually save the vehicle. Okay? And uh, a free LG and some other garage. I recommend just having a bunch of free LGs uh, ready to go, to be honest. So... Here we are inside of my nightclub and I have an LG Retro Custom here. Oh, and you don't need custom plates. All right, so that's a big thing. You get a fresh plate every single time. No need to worry about dupe detection or anything. So go ahead and just draw. Basically, you just need this LG Retro Custom in here and another Retro in another garage somewhere, okay? And you wanna be in a friends only session, okay? So if you look, I'm gonna press down on the D-pad and you see in the top left, I'm in a friends only session and I'm actually in a party with my friend. I'm not sure if that helps, but you know, I just did that. So what you want to do is go ahead and pick up your friend. And I was skeptical about this glitch because there's a join friends part. And there was an old glitch where that just didn't work for me. But that is not the case with this one. It works perfectly fine. So once you've picked up your friend in the friends only session, you want to go ahead and drive into your nightclub service entrance uh, with your friend in the passenger seat. Now, if you have a problem with your friend getting kicked out of the car, it's actually a really easy fix. It's a bug. Both of you guys just quit your app and restart and you'll be good. That was actually happening to me in the beginning. My friend got kicked out every time I tried to go in uh, into my nightclub with her. So now what my friend's going to do is go ahead and press pause and, you know, go over and start rocks, the uh, Rockstar Creative Mission Titan of a Job. OK, and they want to sit in the setting screen. So exactly where I'm showing you right here, Titan of a Job, you would actually launch it and you would sit in the lobby screen, not actually fully launched into the job. OK, so just sit in the lobby screen uh, where you have all the settings and stuff for the job. And that's it. Your friend can just stay there the whole time. Now, what you want to do is run over to the exit and you want to hit exit nightclub. Don't hit all exit. Just hit exit. You know just for you all right now once you've done that you're gonna spawn outside and your friend make sure that they don't lag out I think it's like 15 minutes or something so just tell them to move their sticks around or something like that but you want to set your spawn location to last location and some of you guys might have the problem where the spawn location doesn't actually save so just go ahead and select your current outfit or change an accessory and you'll get that orange save icon once you have that just press pause and just hit find new session okay it's as simple as that so just hit find new session and you'll be good to go. All right, we're going to wait for it to load real, real quick here. Uh, I'm going to fast forward it through this because I hate loading screens. But uh, yeah, this is the only downside to this glitch is that there's one part where you have to quickly go into a public session. But I think I just got really unlucky. So take a look on the map. You saw that there was a, you know, a blue icon there. There's a dude pretty close to me. So I ran across, you know, the street closer to my nightclub, hoping that, you know, he won't kill me. But I do have a bounty on me. So I called my mechanic and this is what you want to do. Call your mechanic and call out one of the lgrh rh that you have in some other garage. Now, you just go ahead and wait for it to get delivered. There it is. Now, look what happens to me. All right. With my luck. So I run right up to it and boom, this guy, I think he has explosive rounds on the sniper. Yeah, he just takes me out and, you know, he thinks it's funny. And at first I was going to be passive and I was going to be like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to continue with the glitch. But I was mad because there's a five minute cooldown for the uh, mechanic you know, to call out an RH8. So that kind of ticked me off. So right now I was kind of thinking what I should do. Uh, if I should stop recording, you know, keep recording, go on with the glitch or go into a garage. I didn't want to go into an en into like an interior though, okay? So I was like, let me just, you know, get this guy out of the way first because it was bugging me. So I just called out my buzzard and lucky enough, he for some reason landed his buzzard and I was able to lock on and boom, all right, I took him out. If you guys want to see his name right there, go troll him for me, all right? This is on PS4, all right? Tell him Roll Easy sent you. But yeah, I got rid of that guy. What I had to then do is call up Moore's Mutual. And then when I called up Moore's Mutual, it, it at least shows up on the map, you know? So I flew over there and I picked up the RH8 at Moore's. So it wasn't that bad. And look at this, he even sent mercenaries against me. Look, there's like, pretty sure those are mercenaries. Anyways, you wanna take the RH8 that you just called out and you wanna drive it into the nightclub service entrance, all right? And replace it with the retro that you have in there. Now remember, our friend is in that job glitched in that session. It's not really glitched, just in that job, all right? Kind of freezing the garage for us. 
But yeah, drive the RH8 in there. It's gonna swap normally. Nothing glitchy should happen. Just go ahead and run back outside and hit exit nightclub, okay? So we're gonna be spawning outside here in a second. And once we do, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that our spawn location is once again set to last location, okay? So let's wait right here for a second. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the interaction menu and I'm gonna make sure it's still at last location. And if you need to, go ahead and change an accessory or select your current outfit. If you change the outfit as well, it's an orange save icon. I think buying ammo does the same effect. But uh, once you have that saved, go ahead and press pause online. And what you want to do now is actually hit join friends. This is the part that I was skeptical about because there was an older glitch just like this. And when I would hit join friends, I would never spawn in my friend session ever. All right. I don't know what was wrong, but it would never work. All right. We had to create a crew with just like us two. Um, so if this doesn't work, maybe you might, you might need to make a crew and it's just you two in it. But as you can see right there, I hit join friends and you need to be joining back into your friend's session that's in that job. Your friend remains in the job the entire time, all right? That is all your friend does. So once you spawn back in the friends only session, you want to go ahead and just enter the nightclub service entrance. And remember, in the last session, we put an RH8 in there. We visibly saw an RH8 in there. But look what's in there now, all right? It's still frozen because the friend is in that job. So we have this retro custom. Look at the plate. B-O-F is in the middle, okay? Now, I don't show you right here, but if you look very closely, yeah, you can definitely see a change. Um, I'm going to show you here in a second again, but I'll show you the plate. You know, I'll, I'll go up close to it. But uh, this is where you need to save the vehicle. This is your brand new dupe right here. The plate changed right there. The fresh generic plate on the brand new dupe. And uh, I'm going to do the first save method, which is calling up the MOC. Nice and easy. If you have the MOC, make sure it has the personal vehicle storage, not the weapon and vehicle workshop. So call up your MOC and then go ahead and drive behind it. Hit right D-pad and you'll be able to enter. And just like always, it doesn't matter what you have in it. But as you can see right there, look, CFG, you saw that brand new plate. All right, that's how I know it's a brand new dupe. So the plate will change upon driving outside. Now that I've spawned in here uh, in the MOC, the car saved. And I really, really wanted to check if rinsing and repeating was, was, you know, as easy as that, if the friend can just stay in the job the entire time. And sure enough, it's true. All right. So if you want to rinse and repeat really quick, go ahead and just drive this car back into the nightclub service entrance and you'll have this car right there. There you go. So we'll be able to dupe this car once again. We don't, we don't need to worry about plates because we're always getting a fresh one. And the friend is still in Titan of a job in the setting screen. Okay. So once you put this back in there, all you got to do is exit the nightclub once again on foot, just you do not hit all exit. All right. Cause that will screw it up. So once you're back on foot outside by yourself, you want to go ahead and, you know, select your outfit. Make sure you're back on last location. You should be on last location the entire time. So all you'd really have to do is just get that save icon. And uh, yeah, press pause, hit find new session. All right, this is where we're going to go ahead and spawn into the public session. And this time I was not unlucky. Okay, this time I was good and I was able to just do the glitch perfectly as intended. So you guys will be able to see how it's actually done right here with all that fighting around with other players uh, that I had in the last, you know, the last go around. So yeah, I'm going to call my mechanic, open my phone, call my mechanic, and I'm going to call up a different RH8. Okay. I think I have some RH8s in the facility. So that's probably where I'm going to look. And uh, yeah, here we go. So yeah, I have a few in here. I'm going to call up this RH8, wait for it to get delivered. And we're going to simply drive this into the nightclub. Okay. So let me get this car and drive it back into the nightclub and enter your nightclub. Remember the service entrance, you'll get that fuller. And that just means that you're going to be replacing the retro in there. That's all good. Go ahead and just accept that. And we're going to be spawning in here. If you have, a, I had a lot of long loading screens actually going into uh, the nightclub sometimes in public sessions. I don't know if you guys are going to go through that, but just be patient. Eventually they will, you know, you eventually you will spawn in. Try, try not to do any recent activities or anything like that. But uh, yeah, once you have the RH8 in there, go back and exit the nightclub on foot. And we're going to spawn outside. And this is where we're going to hit that join friends. And it works flawlessly, guys. I'm not even going to lie. I, I, I was really skeptical, but it works. So just in case, I wanted to make sure that, you know, I was going to be spawning in the right place. So I'm just going to go ahead and select my outfit once again, get that duffel bag back on and get that orange save icon in the bottom right. Press pause, go to online and hit join friends. And yeah, sure enough, man, this is pretty, you know, consistent. All right. I did it probably. I did like four more dupes after this and it still worked perfectly, you know, with the friends still in the job. So you should spawn in your friend session. If you're not spawning in your friend session, then try to be in the same crew and hit like join crew members, you know, just be like, you know, just you two in one crew. Um, and that's another way to do it just in case you have problems with this method. 
But once you come over here, you know, go into your nightclub service entrance, and there you go. Even though we put an RH8 in the, uh, in the last session, the retro is in here. And here's the plate. I'll show you the change this time. So remember CFG right in the middle. And once you drive out, I'm going to show you right here. There you go, IBT. So that is the new plate on the new dupe. And the other option you actually have, I'm doing the MOC save again, but the other option is an empty, you know, spot in your CEO garage. But uh, yeah, once you park it into the CEO garage, make sure you quickly, you know, get back in the car and head to the mod shop and modify something on the vehicle. And that'll, that'll make it stick. But uh, yeah, I didn't show that method in this video because I honestly didn't have any empty spots. But that's pretty much the glitch, guys. Very easy, very simple to do. And your friend just has to sit in a job the entire time. So if it weren't for that, the glitch would be solo. But that's all your friend is doing, just sitting in a job for you. So they don't even have to be playing. All right, but that's going to be it for me, guys. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GCA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.